Our next match is actually televised. And we're getting 6.25k from the television rights from this game. We are away at La Union Athletic. And they are above us. They're in that uh, playoff places. They're in fourth. Uh, we're in ninth at the moment on 18 points after 12 games. Happy with it at the moment. Although I think we can just do a little bit better if we take our chances. After La Union, we've got Sam Fernando, who are bottom of the league. Valencia, who are in 10th. Villarreal B, or Valencia B, obviously. Villarreal B, who are in 12th. And then Belares, who are in 11th. So teams who are, well, bottom of the table. And then just below us in terms of the league as it stands. There's Valencia B, look, Villarreal B are there. And uh, who else was it? It was Belares. So it's these three teams right here. So if we beat those teams, then we know we're in a really good place. We're still waiting on one free transfer to come in. Uh, Bael Ferez, the young 23-year-old centre-back, come ball-winning midfielder. He looks quite good, actually. And right, he can play right and left back. He's got a fairly good left foot and a good right foot. He is young. Uh, young, sorry. He's, yeah, he is young. He's 23. He is young. But he's also short. 5'11". So I'm hoping he's going to be like Cannavaro or Cordoba. If you remember those players who played for Inter Milan, they were quite diminutive centre-backs, uh, but very, very good centre-backs. Fabio Cannavaro actually won the Ballon d'Or, didn't he? He won the Ballon d'Or. He looks good as well in terms of his mentals. Uh, he's a balanced personality. I think he, he could be quite good for us. He's on, or he will be on, for £550 per week, which is only a quarter of what we were paying uh, Angel Puerto on loan so he's now left the club he's gone back to his parent club and we can probably bring in maybe one or two more players to try and strengthen the squad get some strength and depth going on you know I think that'll be quite a good thing uh, for us if we can do that we're actually only spending around 26,500 a week where we've got 28k there let's have a look uh yeah we have 2.31 so it'll be just about there's something like 1.8 left in the kitty. Should we uh, bring a Ferez in? My phone's just gone off there. Yeah, so this game's televised. Uh, very, very exciting. We're going to be on TV. Let's see what we can do on TV. We're playing the same game that won against Athletic B, Atletico Madrid B in the last game. We're playing well. Victor, uh, sorry, Hugo Delanos. He is scoring goals. He's our top goal scorer of eight. Alu Traore is on seven. Baba's got four to his name. Victor. He's only got one goal, but he's got three assists, so he's doing quite well. Our assist leader is none other than Gabri Palermo, our left back who comes on as a sub mainly. He's got four assists and a goal. He got the penalty, didn't he, in the first win of five games ago, uh, a 1-0 win there. So he's got kids on the bench, of course, but Alvaro Guinness is back, although he's not entirely uh, fit for this one. So here we go, La Union Athletic. They're playing a 4 a 4-2, they are up there. They're a good team. They were a good team last year. So they're going to be good this year. We are matching these kind of teams now, though. It's good to see we see a bit of progression, as the Spurs manager often says. Um, <clears throat> I think three more points here, and uh, we're basically safe. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm only joking. We are the early kickoff as well, so we get one over the other teams if we do try and get if we do get some points here. However, Delgado's picked up a knock early on. Not ideal. We are hemming them in a little bit. We're playing quite well. There's good work by Jan Kolowski. Traore. And it's a low cross from Victor Olmo. And Traore sticks it away of a first time finish. That's what he's so good at. He actually wants to play as a poacher. We play him as an advanced forward because I want him to be involved in the game more. Jan Kolowski does really well. Doesn't panic on the ball. Makes the pass when uh, it is easiest to do so. Good low cross from Victor Olmo. That's his first assist, I believe. There on the ball. Baba wins it. Injured Delgado picks it up. There's Victor Delanos. We're playing it well. We're somehow holding on to the ball. Don't know how, but we are. Delanos is still going. Traore is at the back post. Headed down. 2-0. And everybody in Spain can see how good we are as they watch the TV. I'm sure there's loads of people watching this game right now. I'm sure. As the... Uh, Delanos gets an assist. It's a lofted ball in. He beats his man at the back post, and it's 2 0. 70 minutes. Uh, not, nothing has happened. We've had no highlights up until this point. We've made a number of changes. Young players have come on. Juan Luis Ocana has come on the left hand side for Baba. And young Carlos Redondo has come on in midfield for the injured Delgado at half time. And Jorge Castero has come on, or Castero has come on for uh, Jan Kolowski, who was booked. So they're on the attack here. Not looking good for us. And there it is. 2-1 71 minutes. We really need to make sure we um, don't 
don't concede another and let this game sort of get away from us. It's not really great defending from us. Uh, who's that? Juan Rodriguez wasn't close enough. Right, Victor, you've got to put this in, mate. Our team leader, our vice captain, put this in top bins. Oh, mate, unlucky. Ramos, it's 84 minutes. I bring on Garrido, let's centre back. And we've also bring on Abdi for Victor, who was struggling, really. Paul's just going to make a mistake here. Oh, my God, it's risky. It's risky. We're playing it well, though. Redondo around the corner to Okana, who's running at the defence. Over to Traore. He's got his hat trick. And that's surely got to kill the game. It's 3-1. It's great play by the young lads. Juan Luis Okana with the assist. He gets his first assist for the club. His first goal contribution. It's a lovely lofted pass over the top. Touch on by Chayore. And a strong, hard finish into the back of the net. Oh, come on. Don't. Don't do it. Just don't. I'm going to have to go defensive. I really am. After this highlight, we're going to drop everybody back. Please don't concede straight away. Please don't concede straight away, guys. Come on, sort your lives out. Don't concede straight away. No, don't concede straight away. Oh, Ramos. That's why he's so good. That's why he's so important. Playing a 7.5. And he does well again. Punches the ball away. Akana's there. He's got pace, this young lad. No strength. Look at that. Look, he's open. There's so much space in the middle. He doesn't get the ball in, but he runs it up the pitch. That's all I can ask. No, don't concede. Don't concede. Away by Juan Rodriguez. Herrero is going to cross it in. He does. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's now 3-2. And surely, yeah, exactly, Mr. Commentator. Surely that has to be a consolation goal only. Don't give me another highlight, please. No, you absolute mug. The corner's on. He's found him. That's because they're going to attack him. We've got lots of players over. Oh, Delanos, you've got to be scoring there. Don't, don't continue highlight. No, 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 no. Garrido does well. Traore. There's Abdi. Can he find anybody? He shoots. Oh. And a frantic game at the end there, but it's 3-2. We get the win in the end, and we're up into fifth after 13 points. Puts pressure on everybody below us. Let's see where we end up when all the games are played. We have him. We have signed Bael Ferris on a free. He's getting £550 per week. He's a fringe player, so he's not going to worry about lack of game time. He's got a release clause of 325,000. No one's going to pay that. We're going to bring him in and get that centre back in. That's a good signing for us, and they should be happy. <clears throat> the board and the supporters should be happy, and they are. We're going to welcome him. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A squad registration him. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, there he is. Yep, good. Get in my squad. Well done. Good stuff. And by the way, that win and that emphatic 2 1 win. Uh, didn't move us anywhere. We're, we're still on ninth, point, but we are on 21 points. So we're now eight away from 16th and only two away from La Union, who we beat. Our next opponent, San F uh, Fernando, are only on two points. They have not won a game yet. Please, FM, don't let me lose this. It's happened again. Poor Alvaro Guinness. Poor, poor Alvaro Guinness. I mean, I might have to let him go, you know. I might have to try and sell him. These injuries are just too much now. Another two to three weeks for him to be sitting out uh, to pay it. We're paying him a quite a bit of money. It's 1.7k a week. He needs to, I mean, if I can't play him, then he needs to go. He just needs to go. I'm sorry, Alvaro, but I'm sick of this now. Two to three weeks for him. Pulled knee, lib uh, knee ligaments in training. Trying to sign this guy. Manu Rico, 22-year-old. Looks good. He looks like he would be very good. And he played for Huesca in the second division. I believe they're still in, no, they're no longer in the second division. But he got five assists and six goals for them in 27 games. He enjoys big matches, which is massive down here in these leagues because you don't get that a lot. He's loyal, he's got a fair amount of pace, and he's, this is the nice one. Ability to spot a pass and create chances underlies the intelligence of his play. So his vision is quite good. It's 14, his passing is 13. These are good stats down here, these are. These are very good stats. His natural fitness is a problem. But... We won't worry about that. We're going to ask him to play as the attacking midfielder playmaker in this uh, attacking midfield role. Currently where Delanos is playing, but Delanos can play a bit deeper and maybe we'll phase out Delgado, who is starting to look a little bit not good enough to say, uh, to say it nicely.
San Fernandino have got a new manager, so of course they're going to have new manager bounce and get their first win today against us. Uh, everybody else won, by the way, and we've dropped down to 10th. Uh, we get three points today, though. We will match La Union, um, who will, will be on 24 points. And of course, that'll be lovely. Actually, well, a lot of teams drew as well. But anyway, three points today would be great. Please don't lose to bottom place San Fernandino. One change, Delgado comes out of the team because he's not fit enough to play because he picked up a little injury in the last game. So Redondo is going to get a start. Two assists from him in one start, nine sub appearances. He is getting better. He's just probably not going to be the best. You know what I mean? Probably not going to be the best. Bael Ferez. I'm just going to call him Ferez from now on. He comes onto the bench, so good to have him in the squad. We haven't heard back from Rico yet, the other free player we're trying to buy, or bring in on a free even. And apparently there's a host of other clubs interested in him, but they have not put in a contract just yet. Put a bit of pressure on the players here. We are favourites and I want us to play like it. Were my exact words, <laughs> you know, from the options that you can select. Uh, they've lost the last three games. Not one in five, well they haven't won at all actually all season have they, so let's see if we can add to their misery and hopefully it'd be that much closer to safety and the playoff places. I think we've got to go for these playoff places now, I think it's silly not to try and fight for it. There's Victor to Redondo, he's hit the post, he's come back out, that was a good um, little free kick routine. What the hell was that? Can you not control a ball, Delanos? Antonio Jankowski has dropped his... Uh, Oh, Traore, his um, annoyance about not being played. His promise has been fulfilled. Uh, it's 40 minutes. We've had a load of shots, but only one on target. We're giving the ball away high. We're going to lose. Oh, God, that's terrible. Boys, come on. Two changes at half time. Lermo's on for... Oh, oh, George Castero. Or Jorge Castero has got his first goal for the club, and it's a header at the back post. 46 minutes, and we are 1-0 up. Gabri Palermo came on for Olmo, who was playing a 6.2, and Castero, who came on for Jankolovski, because he was not playing very well either. Has just got the goal. Another assist for Victor. Victor is a fan's favourite, by the way. They love him. They lovey, 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 dovey, dovey, love him. Um, I wish they'd love us, but they don't. Danny gets the ball away. Victor can't win that. Um, they've got so much space there on the left-hand side, boys. Why are we not going to close that down? He's offside. Ramos does well initially. Baba does well in the end. Here comes Gabri Palermo, the captain who's now relegated to sub. But we need a new left back, I reckon. Two new left backs are on the cards. Why is his highlight still continuing? Oh, no. Oh, he's offside. You are so lucky, Danny. We've gone to a two up top. Velasco's come on for Delanos, who wasn't playing well at all. We're on the sort of attack here. Can we make anything of it? Victor does well to keep it in. Can he cross it? Can he cross it? He does. Low cross. Baba, how have you not finished that? Chore was offside. Chore wasn't involved. Victor. Uh, apparently he's knackered. I suffered a tight hamstring. Right, we're going to have to bring him off straight away then. And we have scored. And it's Danny. He gets his first goal for the club as well. And Jorge Castero. Well, Castero gets the assist. Let's bring off Victor. We have brought on Okana for Victor. He's gone on to the left. And Baba is going to come on to the right. Castero. Oh, he's hit the bar. We are playing so well. Ferez is going to come on for his debut. So Velasco gets the ball whipped into him. But he's offside. Yeah, he's come on for um, Borgia, who was tiring. But right back. We've so been the better team here. Don't concede late on again. We are the league's top goal scorers. Before this game, we had 26. We've now got 28, of course. But we've also conceded 21. We're 16th in the league for defensive record. So we're not great defensively, which was the story of last year. So... It kind of shows where we need to improve. And I have tried to do that this year with Danny and Puerto coming in. That didn't really work out with him. Uh, Baba crosses to ball. Velasco gets his first goal for the club. Guglielmo Velasco. Come on. Get in. 3 0. Uh, so, yeah, Ferez and Danny coming in, sort of trying to sort that out. Maybe we need to sort out the fullbacks a little bit. Baba does really well here. Lovely low cross. And Velasco puts it in for 3-0. Oh no, we've lost the ball high. We've lost the ball. It was Traore. They're running at us. Who is that at the back there? Who's that? Castero running with him. And there it is. An emphatic 3-0 win here. Jorge Castero coming on. Done very well. Danny gets his first goal. Well, three first goals for the club. I mean, I love it. I love the fact that Velasco's got a goal. Um, 
just a young lad coming on scoring is great. And that moves us up into fourth place. 14 played. Waiting for Elkacon to play. And Atletico Madrid B to play. But we are battling it out with the top teams here. I mean, there's a lot of them. Don't get me wrong. But we are in it. And that's the main thing. We have the Spanish Cup first round draw today. That's nice. When's that coming up then? Is that? Oh, that's there. Okay, so that'll be the next episode. So who are we going to get? Let's have a look. There's so many teams here. We are just going to draw all teams. And we have got... Where are we? Did we come out of the hats? We've got Alaves, who are in the Spanish first division. Great. So we're going to get knocked out in the second round. Or first round. What is it? The first round of the cup against Alaves. We're at home. Hopefully we'll make some money off it. But we won't because there's no money in Spain. Looks like Manu Rico is coming to sign for us. There's no signing on fee for him. We couldn't really afford it, to be honest. That looks like a very good playmaker, doesn't he? I'm really happy to get this player in. I'm also going to try to look for a left winger. I think we need another winger. Let's introduce Manu Rico to the squad. Bring him in. Let's do this, Sunshine. Squad registration. Victor Manu. Uh, we're fine. Minimum players of 18. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, okay, maximum of 18 over 23 players. We've got nine. So we're perfectly fine. Perfectly fine to bring him in here. Uh, sorry, wrong one. We want to go to assign a squad number for you. And you want to be number 12. We're not making you number nine. No, 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 no. A couple of changes to the starting 11 to play. Valencia be at home. Castero, Castero comes in <clears throat> for Jankolovsky in the ball winning midfield role because of his performance in the last game. And Delgado comes back in for Redondo, who makes the bench along with Jankolovsky and all the others. We also have Victor Olmo, who's picked up a knock. So Gabri Palermo comes in and uh, jo Jose goes on the bench. Alvaro Guinness is still injured. I told the players to go out there and press me. I put pressure on them again to get the win here today. Worked in the last game against San Fernandino. Valencia B are mid-table, down in ninth or tenth or something. We'll find out in a second. They're playing a 4 2 3 one as well. Where are they? I just want to check where they are. Yeah, they are in ninth. Look, they're only one point away from us. So it's a t big, big game, this. Delgado picks it up, tries Victor, I think he's on side, comes inside, gets cleared away. Victor picks it up on the right-hand side, there's Borgia, always in space, Borgia. Whips the ball in, Delgado with the header, it's over the bar. Ramos to Juan Rodriguez, Delgado. The finds Gabri. Goes to Delanos, turns nicely into Victor. Estera. This is lovely play, that is lovely play. It's a long shot, though, in the end. Victor does well. Whips the ball over to Baba. Can he run at his man? Finds Delgado instead. There's Gabri Palermo. Why is my dog walking around? Delgado. Baba does well. What a turn. What a goal. What a goal from Baba. Fifth of the season. He's been a great loan sign. I'm going to try and sign him permanently if I can. He should not be playing for Estepona down in those leagues. He's too good. He's at least this level kind of player. I mean, look at that turn. Just three players. He, it's just, that's a great goal. Delgado's playing a 7.5 on his return to the first team football. They've got a corner here, though. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. It's still dangerous, and it's in the goal. Lucas Nunez. With only a second goal of the season. It's one all here, 26 minutes. Didn't deal with that corner very well at all. As it comes in. It's not cleared away well. And no one goes out. I mean, who's that? Rodriguez is pointing, but doesn't go out to Nunez. They clear the ball away, but Tani's there. Picks it up. To Juan Rodriguez. Delgado. Castero. There's Delanos. He does. I think he's offside, Troy. He smacks it in, but I think he's offside. Flag is up. We have 70% of the possession. 70%. How are we not winning this game? That's a good save by Rivo or Rivero. Estero does well there with the, the free kick. Gabri Palermo over the corner, whips it in, finds Delgado. Delgado can't seem to head the ball with any power. But he does seem to get headers off quite a lot. There's a highlight straight away there. They're on us. Like uh, they're gonna they're gonna win. They're gonna score. It's coming. It's coming. Abbott does well, but they're coming. There it is. There's the goal. It's terrible, terrible goal to concede that. I'm demanding more. I uh, don't know what we're doing here. We're just not, we're not creating enough. Well, we are creating enough. We're just not putting away our chances. They've had five, sh uh, four shots on target and scored two. So we have brought on Manu Rico. He's come on as the attacking midfielder, advanced playmaker. They've had a nice free kick shot there. 
This is a game we don't deserve to lose. We just don't deserve to lose it. I don't know why we're so inconsistent from one game to the next. They're just running straight through us. We should be winning this game. We are the better team just about. We've had all the possession. We just don't score. Traore is not playing well. Looks like we're going to lose our first game in quite a few games. That's terrible from Ramos. He's had a fucking shocking game. He's not starting the next game. Rafus is coming in. He's been terrible today. He shouldn't have conceded the second goal. Now he's given away a penalty. And it's 3-1 on the board now. He's been absolutely ridiculously bad. There it is. A 3-1 loss. When you look at the stats... I don't think we should have lost this game, but we did. Ramos making mistakes. We're now down into 7th, 15 games. Okay, we've got 24 points. It's good. The points are good. We're only 3 off 5th uh, and 4th. It's not the end of the world. It's just just be more consistent. A couple of changes to the players. Rico is going to come in for his first start as the attacking playmaker, or sorry, advanced playmaker on support. Olmo is going to come in for Gabriel Palermo, who played shockingly bad. Victor and Baba are going to swap around. We're going to play as natural wingers. Well, Rafus is going to come in for Ramos, who drops to the bench after that shocking game last time out. And these two are going to battle it out. So, you know, if Rafus plays well, he gets to stay in. If he has a shit game, Ramos comes in for him then. Alvaro Guinness is back on the bench after finally coming back from his latest injury. And yeah, the, you know, the bench is stronger now. It's looking stronger. It is looking much, much stronger. We need to upgrade the defenders, I think. The other change I forgot to mention was Delanos is going to start over Delgado as the Mazala because Rico is on. That's the idea there. So strength in depth is coming. I'm, I'm hoping it is coming anyway. This is probably our strongest squad at the moment. Uh, barring the sort of fighting for places between the goalkeepers and the forwards, even though one for, only one forward's ever fit. Come on, let's get the ball. Delanos wins it. Traore, Victor to Delanos. Nice passing, nice play. There's Traore to Rico to Delanos. Oh, what play? Come on, finish it. We've been the better team. Yet again, we've been the better team. We've created so many chances. Can't score them. We've got one of the best strikers in the league. Who's uh, extremely inconsistent, apparently. We play well there. Victor now on the left-hand side. There's uh, Sestero. Or Sestero. I have no idea how to say his name. I was calling him Castero, weren't I? But it's, it's actually a CE, so it must be Sestero. Sestero? Oh, God. That's a good ball by Baba. And he's hit the post. Sorry, or he's offside anyway. Got a bit of a knock here. Jorge uh, Sestero has got a knock. Um, Traore isn't playing well. We're going to bring on Guinez and Jankolovsky uh, shortly. I might even try Ferez there at some point. They're attacking us. Goal. For fuck's sake, come on. Stop doing this to me, please. Stop doing this to me. Sort yourselves out. Come on, get a goal back. Here's Guinez. Finally, actually playing a game. He finds Victor. The cross gets blocked. Olmo, Jankolovsky has a shot. Why are you shooting from there, you absolute prick? Victor with a corner. He's telling me to sub off Rafus. Danny to Victor. Why? Why have you gone all the way back out there? For fuck's sake. Another corner. This time it's Rico, right? No, it's Delano. So we have to check what Rico's set piece taking is like. Um, can we... Can we shoot? I hate it. I hate it so much. Really struggling to understand why we don't score any goals. Really, really struggling. Maybe we need to play two up top. Where are you going? Turn out. Turn out. God. Rico. Rodriguez. Back to him. He's playing well. Finding space. There's Victor. Please find somebody. What are you two doing? You're in each other's way. What is going on? Why aren't you just... Oh. I'm still annoyed because the first play there, that should be a goal. And then we they get in each other's way and we fuck around. But eventually it goes in. You know, it's just, just fucking be more clinical. We're the better team by miles here. Uh, we deserve to win this game. Look at it. Just look at it. Bloody ridiculous. Ferez. Rico does find Abdi. He does a little cross. Uh, why is he going to the back post? Victor's never going to get anything in the air. They're going to attack us and score now. 
you watch. This is just, it's just, oh, Rod oh Rodriguez actually wins the ball. My God. Uh, Rico, he looks good passing, doesn't he? Victor. Oh, why? Another really frustrating game here. Leaves us in eighth on 25 points. Look at it. Look at the stats. Where's long shots? Seven long shots. Stop shooting long. I'm saying work the ball into the box. What more do I have to do? Great. Yeah, just what I need right now. Thanks for that. Wonderful. Two to four weeks. Pulled hamstring. Jorge Cestero, our main sort of player, one of our best players. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Thanks very much. So the club have come to me and offered me a new contract. Nice. Nice. Let's do this. Uh, two years. Yes, they're finally giving my first two-year contract. Percentage of the club compensation required for your manager rolled 90%. That's fine because I'm not going anywhere anyway. Negation drop and promotion wage rise is good. I do want to add another bonus though. And if we do get into reaching the playoffs, uh, I would like, not 1K, no, I'd like a coaching course. No, it's not going to give me it, is it? Is it not an option? Is it not an option to give me a coaching course? You absolute bastards. Okay, right, £800 a week. It's a bit more than one now. It's £100, I think, isn't it? Two-year deal. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Two years. Nice. We've accepted the offer. We've signed a new a new contract at the club. It's great stuff. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm, I'm just pleased to be given the opportunity. Uh, are you confident to be able? Yeah, I absolutely believe there is a bright future here at this football club. A few changes then. Uh, force changes and some other changes I fancied making. Ramos has come back and in goal for Rafus because... He was not good last game either. Ferez is going to come in for Danny at centre-back because I'm pissed off with the way Danny is performing in training. Olmo actually got man of the match last game, so he still starts. The rest of the team is basically the same apart from Jan Koloski comes in for the injured Sestero, who will be back in training in six days' time. I must admit, the injuries have been a lot better than they were last season. They were just horrendous last season. And I think that's having an impact on me getting annoyed with every injury even though the injuries aren't all that horrendous, to be honest. Uh, Guinness, of course, still on the bench, uh, fighting for that place. Traore's had three bad games. He's still scored 10 goals this season so far. Hopefully we can um, ensure that he scores more. We played really well in the last game. We just we just couldn't finish anything. I mean, some of our passing moves were bloody brilliant. Valerez are down in sort of mid. I think we're in seventh now we are, and I think they're just they're, they're below us there. Let's have a look at the league table and see where they are, but... They're playing a 4-3-3. Uh, they were a tough team last year. They're going to be a tough team this year as well. Their form is inconsistent. Uh, yeah, they're down in 12 on 20. We are on 25. So only five points ahead of them. I don't think we're in danger of getting relegated this year unless an absolute collapse happens. I think we are more looking up and seeing if we can compete with those in the playoff places. Finally, Ramos makes a save. More of that, please. Um, why are they having all of the early stuff? We're at home. We're at home, game. We are at home. We're formidable at home. They said so. You had so much time. Why? Why? So much time. That's not a penalty. There's no way that's a pen. Baba does well with that. Rodriguez gets it away. There's Victor. Oh, come on. Give me a highlight for once. This team's rubbish. They're actually playing better than we are. Uh, Borgia, chase it out. Chase it out. Chase it out. Ball comes back in, and it's 1-0. For fuck's sake. Come on. Give me a break, man. Need to sort out my defence. Is that the problem? We need more defenders. Better defenders. Ramos. Rodriguez. For 30 minutes. Can we get back into this game? Jan Koloski. Delanos. Good ball out to Victor. He's all on his own. He has to come back inside. Back to Victor. Again, uh, he's just all on his own, really. Can you go inside? Look, there's the pass, right? Oh. Turn out. No. The Ferez. Play it around nicely in the end, Baba. I mean, why? Why not run down the wing? I don't understand. Rico. We get the penalty. Rico buys the penalty there. It's going to be a ALU try or a please score. Please go, Triore. Yes. Good. One all. We're back in it. I mean, we're playing a bit slow for my... We're playing a bit slow. Yeah, where's the... You know, why are we playing slow? Look, tempo, yeah? 
Let's just go fucking higher. Nah, let's go slightly higher. Don't want to go too mad. Our corner. Delanos whips it in. Gets cleared away easily. Doesn't find anybody's head. There's Manu Rico. He whips the ball in. Try always there. And he, you see what I mean? He's so inconsistent. He'll score none for a couple of games and he'll bang in a brace or a hat trick or something in a certain game to give us the win. He's just not consistent enough. Manu, though, with his first assist, does well. Whips the ball in. Gets above everybody and puts it in. Oh, their free kick. Wonderful. This is going to be a goal. Oh, almost. No. Oh, no. Why throw the ball like that? Why? Why? He's clearly not going to get it. Danny, calm down. Don't head it. There's no point. There's just no one around you, yeah? Guinness, Delgado. Runs at them. Well, I've asked you to defend. Why are you running at them? Okay, we get a win. We get a win. <laughs> a 2-1 win. Oh, this is this is tough. Um, we're in sixth. Though. I don't know why it's so tough. It feels really tough. It feels like we're scraping wins. We can't get over the line. We can't finish enough chances. Even though we have one of the best passing success rates, one of the best attacking rates in the league, it's quite clear that we need to sort out our defence and maybe, maybe we need to sell some players and bring some players in. We're sixth at the moment. Let's just see where we end up when all the games are played. So after everything is said and done this weekend's games, uh, we are sixth. Two points away from fifth. That is lovely. 18 down here. Look. So we are 10 points away from 16th now. Have they changed the season preview? Yeah, we're up in 10th now. We are up in 10th. I think our signings have done, uh, have done that. I think they've made us stronger. We look better. I think next I'm just going to concentrate on the back line and bring in maybe another left-sided defender. We do need to get rid of Garrido. He needs to go. He's wanted, so that's good. And perhaps another right back as well because Jankowski is playing more and more as a ball-winning midfielder. So probably a good idea to upgrade in that area. And uh, obviously Danny is doing okay for us, but he's played a seven and a, you know, we just need to upgrade in that area because we're conceding too many goals.